now we are ready for today's book review. And today's book is Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer. I have read Artemis Fowl before the entire series, really enjoyed it. Definitely prefer the first four books, but that's okay. And so I recently decided that I was going to read Artemis Fowl again. Love it. I don't even think I have a single bad thing to say about this book. It was funny. It was unique. It was entertaining. I literally started it one night, brought it to work the next day, read it at lunch, and then finished it that night. Because I was just like, I have to know what happens. Even though I've read it before, I just had to read it again. And it was great. I would suggest the Artemis Fowl series, no matter what age you are, because like I said, it's, it blends a mixture of humor and crime and fantastical technology into it all so well that everything blends together and is like, boom, literally a fantastic, maybe perfect novel because I enjoyed it that much. Like, nothing wrong with it. And so that's like the book review. I don't even know what more to say. The characterization was great. Like Commander Root is so different from Holly Short. And yeah, Butler's kind of a stoic man because he's the butler and he's there just to protect Artemis Fowl. But he also cares about his sister. Like he still has humanity in him. And so I loved that. And I mean, Mulch Diggums, the whole dwarf aspect cracks me up so hard. Like, like I said, it's just, it was just such a unique idea. And I don't even remember when they were published. You know, I'm going to look real quick and just see when this first book was published. This is like the kind of research I should do before I make these, but I definitely don't. Yeah. So this was published in 2001. And I feel like since then, the uniqueness of novels has kind of like gone down. And it's not because like the novels are bad. It's just because everything is kind of a rip off in some ways of something else. Like every fantasy novel is going to have dragons or fairies or trolls or something in it. And yeah, Artemis Fowl has fairies and trolls and gnomes and dwarfs and goblins. But I felt like there was such a unique twist on every single creature that is mentioned that it was just its own thing. And like I said, the blending of fantastical things and creatures with technology is like, it was done so well, like 100% believable. Yep, there are fairies, there are gnomes, the lep is a thing, they're there, they're living underground, it's real. It's all real. It's all, that's all I can say about this book. Artemis Fowl isn't fiction. It's nonfiction. It's all real. Like, read Artemis Fowl. That's what I have to say. I've already started reading the second book, literally right after I finished this one. So yeah, I finished it last night and now I am reading the second one already, which is, I'm only like one and a half chapters in. Still great. Still great. So I don't know if I'm going to write, like, write. I don't know if I'm going to film more reviews about Artemis Fowl because it's just going to be me gushing about how great they are every single time. So yeah, that was Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer. Super short, super awesome, totally read it. And because I love Artemis Fowl, today's question is going to be, what character would you be in Artemis Fowl? <laughs> I would either be Butler, because like I said, he is this big macho man who's literally like built like a mountain, who's one purpose in life is to defend Artemis Fowl. And he does it, but he also cares about his sister, Juliet. And I just love that about Butler. I love the giant man who actually has a heart and stories like that really touches me. <laughs> so I would be Butler. If I could pick a second character, it'd probably be Commander Root because he's just always grumpy and smoking cigars and yelling at people. But once again, you can also tell that he cares about Holly. And so I was like, oh, how touching Commander Root you care. Oh. Yeah, so 
I really don't know what to say. This was literally me gushing for five minutes about Artemis Fowl and that's it. So if you like to hear me gushing about books, please subscribe, like, and go read Artemis Fowl, then come back to me and tell me who, what character would you like to be? Or tell me what your favorite kind of blend of fantasy but technology novel is because I would totally be interested in reading it. And who knows, maybe I'll even review it here. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening to me, blah, 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 about Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer. And you all have a great day.